Neighbors in San Patricio County tonight still reeling from a murder suicide committed by a 15 year old teenage boy. Investigators telling us William Colburn killed his family and the family's pets before then killing himself. Officers were tipped off to the scene last night after pictures of his murdered family members were apparently posted on social media. What well, we are learning about the investigation in tonight's top story. Now, according to sheriff's deputies in San Patricio County, four people and two dogs were found dead inside of an RV at the Aransas Oaks RV Resort. Officers say it all started yesterday when Colburn made threats on social media, posting pictures of family members he allegedly killed. The teen then threatened to continue the violence at an area school. Multiple law enforcement agencies were able to track Colburn to the RV park late last night, but the teen refused to open the door and let them inside. That's when those gunshots were heard. Officers entered the RV to find four bodies, including the shooter. Investigators with the San Francisco County Sheriff's Office identified the victims this morning. They include the teen's mother, father, and 13-year-old sister, as well as the family's two dogs. Now tonight, 3 News' Michael Gibson spoke extensively with investigators. They tell us that the search for a motive behind the killings could take several weeks. San Patricio County Sheriff's Department investigators spent all Thursday morning here at the Aransas Oaks RV Resort. They were trying to figure out why 15-year-old William Colburn III took a handgun out and proceeded to slaughter his family. Authorities say the teenager went over to the kitchen area and killed his father, 63-year-old William Colburn Jr. He also gunned down his mother, Jana Colburn, who was celebrating her 53rd birthday. The son also turned the gun on his 13-year-old sister, Emma, killing her as well. Even the family's pets were found dead among the carnage. I stopped a long time ago trying to figure out motives in people's heads on why they do these things. San Patricio County Chief Deputy Adrian Garcia says his department received word from DPS and McAllen that William Colburn III had posted photos of his family's bodies on the social media site called Discord. The race was then on to find the teenager and the murder scene. Around 3 o'clock in the morning is when officers walked up to the door of the family RV and began talking to the teenager. Knocked on the door of the, of the trailer. We're able to get somebody to actually answer verbally. They wouldn't open the door. So through the door, talking, uh, he was asked to come outside. Of course, he questioned why. Deputy just said, just come talk to us. And he said no, and then they heard one single gunshot. The teen had committed suicide. Authorities also say that in that social media post he had made earlier in the morning, he had threatened to go to a school next. He had the tools available and transportation. So uh, you can't, we can't uh, dismiss that he wouldn't have. Uh, we're just glad he didn't. The chief deputy tells 3 News that their department is still trying to figure out why this triple murder happened to begin with. He says he's hoping to be able to bring closure for the rest of the Colburn family out there. They're the ones who need the closure. You know, this is this is a terrible, a terrible act, you know, and why a 15 year old would do that. Uh, I don't know. Chief Rodriguez added that a motive is never found in most of these cases, but his investigators are still speaking with neighbors and looking for surveillance video that might give them a clue. They're also looking on social media posts made by the teenager, which might tell them why the 15 year old decided to murder his own family. In San Patricio County, Michael Gibson, 3 News. Now, you heard about the site Discord. A Discord user contacted 3 News this morning, saying the 15-year-old sent them photos of the slain family. They contacted police and told us that they had no warning before they got the photos and didn't have a choice about whether to accept or reject them. Now, unless you're a gamer, you might be asking, what is Discord? Well, it's a chatting platform that's been around for about six years. It allows people to text, call, and exchange photos in communities called servers. Originally, gamers used it to plan strategy in online multiplayer games, but during the pandemic, Discord shifted its focus away from video games and it exploded in popularity. More than 140 million people use Discord every month and the company is now valued at $15 billion.